uh, welcome to Finchley College. This lesson is about two-pack test. And two-pack test is a test that we'll do to make sure the dumpy level or automatic level is actually stays level and it's not been damaged. Now, the way it works is that theoretically, when you set up a dumpy level and level the bubble and the bubble is now center, theoretically the instrument must be horizontal. So it must be looking horizontal. And you turn it around 360 degrees. See, this is a straight line. I've drawn it. And the objective, but what happens? What can go wrong with the instrument? It can, it can be pointing up or pointing down. And you don't know. It's not a lot, like 10 mil or 5 mil. So it doesn't show it. You can't notice it. But let's assume that the instrument is pointing up. So as you turn right, turn around, you see always up. Now, to find out whether the instrument is horizontal, or is pointing a bit up or pointing a bit down, what we have to do, we have to do two-peg test. The way the two-peg test works is that because uh, this error is constant, the error is the same, error increases as the distance increases. But these errors are the same for the same distance. So what happens, if I set up the instrument over two points, so I set up the instrument in the middle of between two points. Say so I have a point here called A, I have a point here called B, and the distance are equal. Say for example, 30 meters between A and, and this is C. Between A to C is 30 meters, and between B to C is 30 meters. The objective is approximately equal distance. If I hold the staff at A and B, I will read two figures. If the instrument was level, I would be reading here. The other instrument is out of level, I'll be reading slightly higher. But I don't know that. I don't know which is correct. But whatever happens, this error is the same. This error is the same because the distances are the same, the angle is the same, so these errors are the same. So when I set up at two points and I take a reading, so I say point A, point B, First reading and the second reading. So I set up at A, for example, at A, at the first reading, I read one meter on the staff. And at B, I read, for example, 1.2 meters. So I read 1.2 meters here. They don't have to be the same height, they're just there. Then I move the instrument close to one of these points. For example, I set it up close to A. And I'll read again. So if I make a different color. So this time, I read another reading. So, so then at the second reading, for example, at A, I'll read 1.3. And now I know because I read at the same point 300 more, for B, I expect to read 300 more. So I expect to read. 1.5. The difference between that is 0.3. The difference between these is 0.3. That then that means instrument. That means that the instrument is level, because I, I got the same difference at A and B, whether I was set up in the middle or I was set up close to the one of them. When I close to set up close to one of them, there is no error. This this is tiny tiny error. So the error is now. If there was any error, the error would have been here. That's a bigger error than that. So the error would have been on the last reading. In the first set of readings, the errors cancelled each other out because they were the same distance and I set up in the middle. In the second readings, I set up close to A, therefore there was no error at A, tiny, tiny error, and all the maximum error would have been at B. But because the difference between the first set of readings and second read are the same, that means there is no error in the instrument. Therefore, 0.3 minus 0 0.3 is 0. No error. You usually get 1 mil or 2 mil errors. So in here, instead of 1.5, you could have read 1.501. That would have meant 0.301. That would have meant that 0.001 difference or 1 mil difference. That's 1 mil error over 60 meters. That's the distance here now, in 60 meters.
So that is the job of two peg test. It's a simple test. You set up between two poles equal distance apart. You take a set of readings on A and B in the first step. And then you move the instrument close to one of them, either A or B. You will take another set of readings. And you expect the difference between A and B and A and B and A and B both times to be the same. So in this case, for example, the error is 0 0.2, 1.3 minus 5 is 0 0.2. The difference between one first time and second time is 0 0.3, is 0 0.3. It doesn't matter which way you do it, you can subtract A from B, or you can subtract A from A and B from B itself. The difference will be the same, no matter which way you do it. Uh, and uh, if the last one, the last one we know what we should have been correctly, because for example in here the difference was 300 mil, we expect to be 1.5, because 1 plus 300 is 1.3, 1.2 plus 300 is 1.5. If I read more, that means the instrument is pointing up. If I'm reading less, for example I read 1.495, that means the instrument is pointing down by 5 mil. That will tell me whether the instrument is pointing up or down or is level. So that's the two-peg test.